it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. In my channel, I'm introducing mainly Japanese dishes with ingredients that we can get in the US or hopefully other countries outside Japan. Today, I'd like to show you how to cook a beautiful Japanese ham cutlet. We call it Hamukatsu in Japanese and it appeared in the popular Japanese TV show, Shinya Shokudo, otherwise known as Midnight Diner. It's kind of a traditional izakaya meal and another Japanese comfort dish. It's also very tasty and easy to cook. So if you have some ham and cheese at home, please try it. This is also a great recipe for leftover holiday ham when the time of year comes around. This time, I wanted to make it a little bit more fun to cook and create delicious looking layers with the ham and cheese. Also, we usually deep fry the cutlet, but I wanted to make it healthy and didn't want to use too much oil. So I'll show you the way to cook this in an oven. Let's get started! I'm gonna make two kinds of ham and cheese cutlet today. So I have black forest ham with Swiss cheese and turkey ham with cheddar cheese. I tried to make a huge ham and cheese cutlet too, but I'll show you how it went later on in the video. But let's start with the regular size ham cutlet. First, cut the sliced cheese into two pieces. Today, I have nine slices of ham of each kind and four slices of cheese. If you want to make the cutlet thinner or thicker than this, please adjust the amount of ham and cheese. Place one slice of ham and one slice of cheese. Then place another slice of ham and another slice of cheese perpendicular to the previous slice. Keep doing this and you have a nicely thick ham cutlet. You can also add some black pepper between the layers if you want some spiciness. Then let's get to the breading part. I'm not deep frying the cutlet and using an oven to cook this time. So I cook the panko itself in a pan over medium heat for a few minutes to get the nice brown color beforehand. This is a tip for this oven baked cutlet. And even though you don't deep fry it, you still get a crispy cutlet. When 60 to 70% of the panko is browned, turn off the heat. But keep stirring to brown the panko. Then crack it in an egg and add it in a bowl or a plate with some depths, then whisk it. Add some flour and a little bit of water, then mix well. In this way, you don't need to blend it with egg and flour separately and can reduce the amount of dishes you use. If you want to blend it with egg and flour separately, you can do that too. Coat the meat with the egg flour mixture. It's quite sticky, so it may be better to use a pair of tongs for breading. Don't forget to coat the sides too. Then coat with panko. Please coat the entire surface of the cutlet on all sides and you get a perfect crispy cutlet. Also this time, I used gluten-free flour and panko, but of course you can use the regular flour and panko too. Preheat the oven at 430 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius. Then coat the cutlet with cooking oil spray or spread the oil with a pastry brush. Bake the cutlet for 12 minutes. If your cutlet is bigger than my size, please cook it longer. Otherwise, the center of the cutlet will be cold and the cheese won't be melted. Then you get this crispy ham and cheese cutlet. If the cheese comes out from the cutlet, just eat it with some chips or crackers because it's super tasty and you don't want to waste it. Let's cut the cutlet this time and you see the beautiful layers of ham and cheese. Of course, it goes great with beer. Serve with some mustard or Japanese Worcestershire sauce if you have it. 
I got this sauce at an Asian grocery store, but I found the same brand on Amazon, so I left the link to the sauce in the description box. Also, if you have British Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, and sugar at home, you can make a similar sauce too. This homemade sauce is so tasty and it reminds me of Japan. So please check the recipe for that in the description box and try it. I know I'm trying to limit my bread intake, but couldn't stop myself from having the cutlet as a sandwich. When I was in Tokyo, I found a nice bar that offered a delicious ham and cheese cutlet sandwich. It was a late night snack and it went great with whiskey. Finally, I'm gonna do the huge ham cut challenge. This time, I think I had around 30 slices of ham and 15 slices of cheese in total. A little bit ridiculous, but should be a fun experiment. It took me a while to beat up the cutlet, but it was fun. I thought it was gonna fall apart, but it didn't, and turned out nicely shaped. But then, a lot of cheese came out of this cutlet tower, was difficult to cut it. Apply some mustard and pink peppercorn to give the cutlet a little kick. Then I tried it as a sandwich again. Added in the bread makes this sandwich pretty massive, so I couldn't finish it. Then I put the leftovers in a container and froze them. I cooked some white sauce and made a gratin with the leftovers a week later. And it was another great dish. I know you've seen a lot of cheese in this video, but the regular size ham and cheese cutlet is very tasty and you're not deep frying it. So let's try it. Thank you for watching and see you again. またね。